Alright then, welcome back. I just saw that. So, yesterday we went ahead and took out Nichi Novgorod. Nichi Novgorod? I honestly have no idea how it's pronounced, I just use. I just call it Nichi Novgorod because that seems about to be correct. Anyway, so the plan today is to take out Yaroslav and use them as a means to. I'm not sure with Marome. Uh, I guess I just leave Marome alone, maybe get it some. Uh, war reps and transfer trade power, maybe. It's not really important. At least to get them out of the trade league with Novgorod. Hell, with the Toytons. Which is great. Anyway. I also plan on having Piskov as a vassal. Which should help protect them from the eventual possible uh, attack from Lithuania. Also, I would also like to have Ryza no longer allied to Lithuania. It's fine if it's even Novgorod or. Maybe even well, Okay, not Blue Wood. Just. Not Lithuania. Even if it's Poland, that's okay. Poland's not that bad. Not compared to Lithuania. Anyway. Let's get the timer started. So, how's this lower province doing? How close is it to... Okay, so... It can actually begin integrating with some autonomy. Well... Without a huge quantity of autonomy. So it should start lowering. Yep. Although I will also admit that the resting point is right at this moment, uh, 99, well, 98.7 percent autonomy. Uh, at least just better than giving them less than nobles a bunch of influence. Of course, I do know that one thing is true, no matter what. Eventually, I'm going to have to face off against Lithuania. Sure, this will help, getting cores, but I don't actually need these cores in order to form... Russia, right? Maybe I should check the requirements again. Yeah. Heck, I don't even need to conquer all of Novgorod. I could leave some stuff behind. Problem is, I need, in order to get to that point, I need the sovereignty of Ryazan mission. And if you look closely, you can see the province of Bryansk highlighted. And that's one of Lithuania's subjects. So I need, to, I need either them for them to revolt and become independent, or yeah. After I take down Yaroslav, I may not have another chance to take on Piskov, especially if you decide to only ally with Lithuania. That would be awful. Besides, I could grab a, I could use a new vassal once I annex Kalich. Which I'll probably start after I go ahead and declare war. I mean, all the provinces are poor, except for Nishin Novgorod, so I'm, all I'm actually annexing spending Diplo points on for annexing is the province of Nishi Novgorod. Right then. I think I'll actually call you in. I'm not planning on taking any territory from Rise, and it's that still is still core. Taking out Ryzen, um, the main need for that is to... Yeah, okay. All I want from Ryzen is to not 
have an ally with Lithuania. Oh no, what's below me? Oh no. Oh, oh. The White Horde managed to merge with the Blue Horde, forming the Golden Horde. I hope they collapse. I sincerely hope they collapse, because that would be very, very bad if they manage to keep themselves together. It looks like it would be an even fight in numbers, but not in true quality. I've got a stronger leader in the shock phase, and I also have two cavalry, which are much better in early game combat. Despite the worst roll, I'm dealing more damage. There we go. That severely weakened them. And the assistance also helps. Marom, that was a terrible idea. I'm able to wipe these troops out. Yep. That's the best part of it. Oh yeah, they have a level 3 fort. Um... Hey, Galik. I need your assistance. Might as well see for peace now. Uh. Trade power. And cash! There we go. It will black flag my troop, but I'm walking back into my territory anyway, so it doesn't matter. Heck, I might even end up walking faster. I don't know. Depends on the effects of local fortifications, if there are any. Which there aren't. Okay, yeah. Good. Cancel your alliance with Lithuania. I would like to have millions of money. Try our war reparations. Okay, Ryazan is no longer an issue. Wait, weren't they the ones that uh, were asking for military access, or...? Maybe I should send a gift. No, a gift is a terrible one. <laughs> yeah, you're terrified of Poland, aren't you? Corn gunpowder. The nobles are now able to use artillery. Now I just have to wait if I really want to stop. I think it's worth it. On the other hand, that more exhaustion. Ah, uh, because I can't. Fine, I find I'll find someone else to be a vassal. Again. 
Are you ready yet for the... Yes, you are. Okay. I can wear the royal crown. I've got five prestige, 15 cities. And my diplomatic skill is high enough, so... I'm at peace. The Kingdom of Muscovy. So after that's built, the next thing to build is the trade building. Then the upgraded town hall. Or maybe the Kremlin first. The Kremlin of Moscow. Yeah, I probably should make sure that the urban gravity is twice that of the urban population before I decide to do that. Diplotech. That gives me access to the warehouse district, so I'll be building that after the trade building. So that should take 42, maybe 43 months. Trade buildings only take a year to build. It's just a single point of corruption. I just want, I just barely am past my resting point by now. And as I continue to centralize, the corruption from my government is just going to increase. Increasing separatism and increasing centralization is making it so that this province is rapidly losing its autonomy level. I mean, I could say the same for my other provinces, they're losing autonomy level, but not quite as rapidly. The simple reason the separatism is not quite as much of an issue, at least not with some of the provinces. The other ones do have separatism as a factor still, though. They're also rapidly losing their level of autonomy thanks to their separatism decreasing. This applies, however, only to the provinces that it previously had cores on. There. Alright, collect from trade. I won't get much money from it, but, but I probably should check 4.37 and 0. Almost no difference. Okay. Full taxes. All right, idea group. Culture tends to be just absurdly strong. So, yippee. I'm not to make, put something in, to Diplo points on them. No, okay, so... 
Uh, level 13 is around the last point where I have anything interesting to work with, so... Because, after that, it's... Level 19 and level... the next buildings, level 19 and level 22 are all... Port buildings, which I don't even have a... Coastal province yet. Of course, it'll take about... 70 years until then. No, that's a century from now. Every ten, every level is ten years, so that's over a century from now. The customs house is the next. Um, um, that's the last level to the trade buildings, I think. I would have to check. Yep, customs house. Diptech twenty, Diplotech twenty two. Junior partner of Henny Blub. Uh, having Brandenburg as a PU would be great if it worked that uh, Stetten is doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and set Rotisk as a Kobler burn so I can also annex their provinces. I'll leave this stuff for later, though. No, so probably actually is a good idea to declare on after that. Beyond that, all that's left is Pskov and Novgorod. Actually, rising dust, so I can just walk in. Ryzen, then probably has their army sitting in their central province, so that's protected from outside attack. Create a stage 3 general. Stuff, you stay there. You have to deal with some point. If I lose Moscow, they're gonna loot the city. Lose shortage. Just a supply shortage? Okay. I need to get in there. Stat. Her, and I should uh, attack. I need every advantage I can get. Infantry shock increase and lab morale is increased. Infantry shock by a large amount. Yep, that was a plus 0.25, wasn't it? I just increased the damage of my infantry 50%. Nice. And Ryazan, which would make up half of those forces, is not able to do that. Okay, Tver doesn't seem willing. Tver! Come on! Lost all that progress. There, yeah, it's winter. So I could let them. Try sieging the stuff up first. Okay, Rostov, how about you just take the other provinces that her that's Ryzen has control over? Thank you. Where's the winter? Oh, it just raises maximum attrition. Okay. The 
best thing about this fight is that I won't... Okay, I'm gonna swap around to verse stance to be supportive. Hopefully they'll join in on the fight, because I'm going to need their assistance. I'm not actually ready yet to take on Ryazan. It's honestly too bad. Mm. Maybe enough provinces are sieged down in the end. Barotsk is de siege. I could probably grab something from Ryazan. Yes, okay. I guess I won't be able to take on Ryzen until later. Or, uh, the combined allies are just too strong. I wasn't able to effectively take them out. This is all I can ask for, but... It's better than letting my capital get looted. Give you some manpower to this. Okay, so I'm going to need 4,700 for the next level. used to have a temple complex. Uh, Zadia probably has one, right? Yep. Oh. A pretty church. This will actually give a nice buff to the city. Oh, meritocracy is nowhere to be seen around here. So banking is reached. The Pontic Step. Yeah, if only we'd reach the Russian in the Russian princes. That might take a while, because it's not even reaching Poland. Really? Well you're already allied with World Times anyway. When's this claim expiring? In three years. Right? Definitely keeping that spy network around to refresh the claim. Alright, uh, there's not much I can do except wait for the next month. Get the Basilica effect in. Kremlin effect in.
Moscow. There we go. Lowered unrest is unimportant. What's important is that my autonomy is now 5% lower. Check stuff. Oh, how's my stability? Yeah, okay. I definitely need to remember to revoke a privilege or two tomorrow. So, anyway. I will see you again next time. Whenever that may be. Until then. Bye.